Hey there, this is Tokomotion with another quick tip on how to work with my stylist kit kids and teens characters. Um, today I want to show you how to get rid of an issue that you may have seen when working with my characters. I will work with Steven here, but this will apply to every character for my packs or uh, with every CC character. So this is a general workflow and Okay, so first of all, I think we should get rid of the um, custom default shirt that comes with a package. So let me just delete the shirt first. Yep. Delete. And then I will apply an asset from the essentials pack. And I think I will use the t-shirt like this. Alright, well you could work uh, like it is now, but in general I think you will try to conform the shape of the t-shirt a little bit more to the body shape by using the conform button here at the top. And just enter a value in the close fitting section here. I mainly work with a value of 2. Just calculate. I think one more will go. Yeah, This looks good. And then we will also apply a smooth value. So 1, 2. Yeah, perfect. Alright. Okay, then let's check an iClone by sending it to iClone with this little icon here at the top. And here we are an iClone. And you may see or may recognize this issue by applying an animation or creating a pose for the character. So just let me open the motion layer editor here and let's bring his arm to a more extreme position. So let's move forward and yeah, there you see it. We have some kind of mesh poke through, so the body mesh intersects with the t-shirt mesh. And yeah, of course you could get rid of this issue by sending the whole t-shirt mesh to an external model and um, yeah, reshape the mesh there. But of course there's also an easier way to fix this directly here in iClone by um, applying a different opacity mask to the body textures. Uh, just go to the materials tab and find the skin body section and you will see the diffuse, the opacity, the bump and the specular, specular maps here. And we just need to create a, a different opacity mask for the character to get rid of this issue. Well, my workflow is I mainly send the um, diffuse map first to my texture editor by using this little icon here at the bottom. And I will use Photoshop, but you can use any texture editor that you want to use. And let's just bring the opacity mask to the editor as well. And then I mainly copy and paste the diffuse map to the opacity file here to have some kind of guide which parts of uh, the body should be invisible in the end so it's I think it's this part here so uh, uh, left and right side of the shoulder shoulders area and some parts of the arms here where you should mainly select all the parts that should be invisible and give them a solid black color because everything that is black in iClone will be invisible. So, of course I prepared this uh, opacity mask before, so just let me load in now. So, um, just need to find it. There it is. Alright, and your file or your, your creation should look like like this in the end. So, just let me copy and paste this final thing to the opacity file here. Let me get rid of this guide textures layers here 
and then let's save the file by save as and it should or you it should open the iClone 6 temp folder here and you need to find uh, or to choose the JPEG format and then you will see all the current um, maps that are used in iClone and make sure that it's the right th or that you find the right file name so it's here it's 088 and so it's this one here and just overwrite it by clicking on it and save that's fine this is also fine and now if you go back to iClone um, the op newly created opacity mask uh, should be applied automatically and yeah the issue is gone so if you now apply an animation or create a pose you won't have any problems with poke throughs which is perfect and as I said before this will work on every CC character um, yeah and if you want to create it on your own I have uh, uploaded the opacity mask for you to the to the forums so you can download it from the Reolution forums the link is in the description of the video and yeah that's it for now I hope this helps if you have any question just leave feedback I will try to answer you as soon as possible and yeah thanks for watching and happy creating <laughs>